50 Bitcoin created. So 50 Bitcoin minted. And then what is the block speed? I said 10 minutes, right? So each 10 minute passes, there, there are going to be 50 new Bitcoin created. That's what I'm saying. So uh, if uh, you have a 10 minute, uh, 10 minute, 50 Bitcoin, right? Right? That's what I'm saying. If you have a 60 minute, how many Bitcoin? Three hundred Bitcoin. If you have uh, so, this is one hour, right? If you have a uh, twenty-four hours, how many Bitcoin created? Seventy-two. Huh? Seventy-two. Seventy-two hundred. Really? So twenty-four times three is uh, seventy-two hundred. I trust you, okay? <laughs> All right. And then what happens uh, in a year? So this is a day, right? A day. 365 days. This is a year, right? Year. How many Bitcoin created? Can you do it now? <laughs> And then <coughs> there is a four year period, four year, four year, then the four times of this number, right? So that is, uh, in this case, it is uh, 21, uh, 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 210,000, okay? 210,000, that, that is this number, okay? So, So uh, there are, this is the block uh, number. So if uh, you spend, um, uh, let's say, four years on the average, there will be this much blocks created, right? And then for each block, how, how many Bitcoin? How many? 50 Bitcoin. And then if you multiply them, then basically that is this number, okay? So, 10, 10 billion Bitcoin created in four years, okay? With uh, 210,000 blocks created. 210,000 times 50 is uh, 10,000, 10 billion, okay? So that, that much uh, Bitcoin were created in four years, okay? And uh, Bitcoin uh, has some uh, halving period, which is every 210,000 blocks created, which is about uh, four years, uh, the Bitcoin protocol will reduce the uh, uh, number of issuance by half. So in that case, in the second period, the number of uh, Bitcoin created per block is diminished to 25 rather than 50. So after four years, this becomes 25 per block. Each block created, only 25 Bitcoin are created. So uh, number of uh, Bitcoin issued per four years is going to be half of this number, right? So uh, that much is added, which is uh, 5 million. So the, uh, that this, uh, this will be somewhere right here, this point. And then another four year passed, then it is going to be half again. Uh, so this is the 50, 25, here, half of uh, 25 is 12.5 Bitcoin per block, okay? Uh, so 
uh, in the year 2018, when I was making this uh, the lecture note, uh, the the um, uh, amount of uh, Bitcoin created per each new block was uh, 12.5. Okay, so this is uh, you know every four year amount of Bitcoin created is halved. Okay, only half of the amount in the previous period are going to be newly created. So uh, here, uh, what is the year today? 23. So we are in now uh, this phase. We are in now uh, this phase. Okay. So this phase here, we have only uh, 6.5 Bitcoin created per each block. What happens to, uh, I mean, uh, when will be the next halving period? Twenty-four. So year twenty-four will be the next halving period, and then, as you can see, wow, that's almost uh, you know more than ninety percent of Bitcoin uh, created, right? So far, and then if we keep halving it, right? Then it will converge to a number which is 21 million. So that's the only uh, Bitcoin that are ever going to be created. So this number will converge to 21 million, you know, year by year, right? And then there will be no more Bitcoin created after after this. But uh, this is uh, converging, right? Not, but not exactly reaching 21 million. But uh, you know, computer uh, uses the number system that can be uh, fractional, right? So it is ever going to reach this number, but never going to have 21 million. So it is it, it will continue to print uh, fraction of uh, you know bitcoins. So so this is. Uh, Bitcoin control the supply is a function of the block height, right? Block height is this one, and the uh, block reward. The amount of the block reward started at 50 Bitcoin. The block reward is halved every 210,000 blocks, okay? Which is about four years because uh, each block is minted in 10 minutes, okay? Uh, due, to, uh, due to a limitation in the present data and blah, blah. So you, you can take a look, look at it. So, so uh, this is the uh, uh, money printing schedule of the Bitcoin. Why do you think, uh, uh, when, when you take a look at it, what type of uh, thoughts uh, do you have? 뒤에 한 번도 말하는 학생. So you haven't said anything. So. I have a question. So after few minutes, a uh, few years, uh, the, the, uh, mm. Bitcoin in one block so reduced by half. So, so the, uh, Cost will be reduced. Value. Uh, value will be reduced. Yeah, so uh. mine, mine minting uh. Bitcoin mm. uh, value. Uh, Bitcoin. So just uh, throw me some sen uh, instead of sentence, throw me some nouns. What do you want to say in terms of nouns? 그냥 명사로 한번 말해봐. So he's saying that Bitcoin price will be reduced. That's the first statement that you made. So let's work on that one. 
would the Bitcoin price will be reduced over time or not? At least I think uh, it is not. Why? Yeah, so the more transaction, more people use it, so more useful this network is, then the price will go up. Does not grow, right? And then think about this. Network stays the same. Number of people stays the same. And then this minting schedule says the number of new issues are going to be reduced by half in certain unit period. What happens to the price? What happens to the US dollars? For, for example, US dollars are pumped into the society. The, the number of uh, you know, units increases right, over time. <coughs> then, then US dollars, uh, the monetary value of US dollars increase or decrease? Huh? Is it increasing? Decreasing. Decreasing, right? Why? But the, with the hundred dollars in the let's say nineteen twenty, you were able to buy refrigerator. Now hundred dollars, what can you buy? Oh, only a steak, right? <laughs> the value of the U.S. dollar decreases over time because because of what? They keep increasing the supply of U.S. dollar. So the uh, useful asset, fixed assets like um, land, and then the building in New York City, building in Gangnam, goes up because the price of the, I mean, the value of the U.S. US dollar, value of the Korean one decreases. So in order to buy this uh, useful asset, you have to give more units of money. That's what uh, 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 fiat currency is doing, right? But here, what is, what is this? Supply is getting smaller and smaller. Then what happens to the price or the value of the Bitcoin? It will rise because it's a fixed. The supply is going to get lesser and lesser and lesser and lesser. Right? Don't you think? So that's what is happening. So each time there is a halving, the price of Bitcoin has been uh, increased by at least 10 times. 10 times. So currently it is like uh, uh, $30,000. I, I don't know exact price, but uh, you can take a look at it. Huh? So maybe. First, first investor, investors are the miners, yeah. Uh, yeah. Provide a few power and their electricity power. But uh, after a few minutes, uh, I think uh, provider leave because the Bitcoin, uh, the Bitcoin is less. So, the, so he's saying that the supply of Bitcoin is going to get reduced over time. The, the investors will leave the network. That's what you are saying? Yeah. How many of you agree with him? Because he said the supply is uh, getting smaller and smaller. Inve there will be no more investment on this. That's what you are saying, right? Yeah. How, how many of you think uh, that way? <laughs> Uh, or uh, anyone has a different thoughts? Uh. No, but I don't, I don't see the point of joining the, the chain after that all the block or all the Bitcoin has been uh, uh, mined. 
I see. So all, you, after all the beacons are mined, people will leave. Right? Because, uh, no, no more people will join. I see. OK. All right. That might be <laughs> possible. Right? But uh, what happens, let's say, let's just, uh, you know, uh, uh, bring our uh, thoughts to the future too much because uh, future is uh, no one knows, right? But uh, let's suppose, uh, you know, in this uh, period, if uh, there is a, a usefulness in the Bitcoin network, right? And the uh, number of people stays the same, right? And uh, the supply of this Bitcoin is getting smaller. Just make this assumption, right? Then what happens? Don't, don't bring your thoughts to here, right? Just think about this, maybe next halving period. So the supply is fixed. People are using it, but the new, new issue will be reduced by half. What happens to the price? Just think about that one. It will increase, right? So that's what you can think, but uh, obviously, you know, some people, uh, I, mean, I mean, something happens in, in the future. For example, U.S. government uh, dislike this so much, they ban it. Right? No one is supposed to use Bitcoin. No one is supposed to use uh, Bitcoin wallets. So the U.S. people right, are not going to be able to use it. Right? Then the, the, you know, the people, number of people using it will be reduced. And then uh, EU, right, European nations, right, they do the same. Regulate the Bitcoin. No one is supposed to use it. And then the number of users will get smaller. Right? Maybe you can think of uh, such situations. Right? Then, then uh, Bitcoin might, you know, the, the network might get smaller. Right? Then there is an issue. Can government uh, ban the use of uh, Bitcoin? Like that. No? Why, why not? I don't see how we could, uh, why or how it could ban the, the, the use of Bitcoin. So first is why, and then second is how. Why, why part first. Yeah. So that's uh, one thought, right? U U.S. Uh, wants to may, might might wants to ban Bitcoin, right? I don't want this because U.S. Dollar, if this gets stronger, the the reserve currency status of U.S. dollar is shaken, and then this will be diminished. So U.S. government might say, I don't want anyone to use this, right? It, it might be possible. Uh, and the maker of Bitcoin, uh, uh. it actually should be anonymous. So anonymous? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So, uh. And because there is a group of the Brother Network, uh. Uh, the, the government cannot... I see. So, see. So, <coughs> so this is the why part, right? Yeah. Why U.S. government might, might try to ban the use of Bitcoin, right? Because of this. The U.S. might be feared that the uh, U.S. dollars is no longer serve as a reserve currency. So they will, would like to ban it. Then that, that is a possible scenario, right? But would the U.S. government do it? And then first thing is uh, would the U.S. do it? Okay, okay. Ban it. Ban it. Second one, if they want to ban it. Now the second que question is can can it do it? Can US government ban it? Is it possible? 
This one is would the uh, U.S. government want it? Want it to ban? For first one, this one is no. Why? Because U.S. government think that this is a future technology, and then U.S. government thinks that um, the elites in the U.S. government thinks that this, because this is the future of our humanity, global money, then the U.S. government uh, wants that the people uh, will be trained and then leading this industry so that U.S. Uh, stays on top of the technology innovation. So that's the uh, majority of thoughts in the you know, U.S. government. But uh, may maybe some uh, you know, crazy <laughs> U.S. president get elected, try to ban it, maybe. But then we come down to this question. If uh, a president or a political party wants to ban it, right, pass the law in the Congress and then US, uh, US bans the use of uh, Bitcoin. There is a law you have to abide by. But can they actually enforce, enforce? Not using it? Can they enforce it or not? That's the, te that's the technical question that we will entertain in this course. Can, can, can it be done? Right? Or because this is uh, so personal, so peer-to-peer, -peer, even the government, government cannot do it, cannot enforce it, for example. We think uh, 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 the, it, it cannot be enforced because you just need to memorize your past phrase and then you can always uh, you know, recreate your wallet anywhere in the world as long as you, there is an internet. Okay, so, so we, will, we will think about this. This is not a uh, right answer or wrong answer type of things. You, you just need to think about it. Okay, all right. How does Bitcoin work? Okay, now we'll talk about it. So Bitcoin uses the internet. So there is an internet everywhere, right? And then you have uh, cell phones. Right? Cell, phones is connect cell phones are connected to the internet, right? then you can use Bitcoin, okay? Bitcoin is a, a, a you know, a overlay layer on top of a TCP IP uh, layer, okay? And uh, Bitcoin attracts P2P nodes like computers, right? So anyone with a computer can join. It's just, uh, it's just, you just need uh, to download the Bitcoin, that's it, okay? So you, you, need, to, you need to have some type of uh, memory, because uh, Bitcoin has been around more than 10 years, the uh, amount of uh, you know, ledgers, I mean the blocks is large, so you have to be able to save it if you want to join as a full connected node. Okay? And uh, P2P nodes share a blockchain. These nodes, the, these nodes are connected, uh, by, uh, connected with each other via Application Programming Interface, APIs, right? So they talk to each other in, an, in the purpose of what? To maintain the blockchain, okay? So what is blockchain? So basically blockchain is a ledger, right? Uh, this ledger, uh, there are transactions, okay? So blockchain is a chain of blocks. So what is a block? Block is a file computer file, right? One file is uh, about one megabyte, right? And then there are about thousand transactions inside a block. <clears throat> so first block to the you know, current block, like, maybe this is uh, like a, a three or uh, four years old, so you have to be, uh, this need to get updated, but uh, this, the, the number of block increases, right? Every 10 minutes. By one, right? So each block is time stamped. There is a time involved. So basically, this block number is a time, right? And uh, each block stores transactions, like a transaction number one, two, and uh, all the way up to thousand, right? Each block. And uh, blockchain also implies the technology itself. So, so sometimes 
uh, use uh, blockchain as a ledger, and then blockchain as a technology. So they use this. So blockchain implies technology, sometimes implies a digital ledger. Okay. All right, and uh, the blockchain is left open for viewing. So this one, everyone is able to view it. Can, so this is the difference between Bitcoin and the bank ledger. Bank has a balance sheet as well, record of transactions. But can you ask a bank to show you, uh, can you show me your ledger? No, <laughs> you only transact to with them, but uh, this is a secret. So, bank can do something, right, uh, that goes against your will, against your benefit, but you cannot ask them to show their ledger to you. It's a secret, okay? Business is a secret. Does bank, uh, bank needs to make some money, right? So the, uh, the banks need to loan out the money they got as a deposit, right? You, you, can you ask the bank to show me how much you are making with your loans? No, you cannot, right? Ledger is not open. But Bitcoin digital ledgers are completely open. Public record, this is, okay? So anyone can talk to a node so basically, anyone can join the network and then give me your ledger. Then you will download the whole blockchain. Then you will be able to see what has happened in the past, what is happening now, everything. Okay. So the, these same ledgers are the same except the most recent blocks. So everyone shares the blo uh, this blockchain. Okay. Only the new blocks are going to be a little different from, uh, you know, one mind in New York, one mind in, uh, you know, Zook in Swiss, Switzerland, they might be different, but this difference will be resolved very soon through something called consensus, okay? So any new node can join in the public blockchain network like a Bitcoin and Ethereum. Anyone can join and become a guard as a miner. So guard here is, uh, you know, keepers of the network. I want to join Please let me in. Then you are in already. Okay. So open ledger and then open network. And then miners are everywhere currently. Each block is formed by a node. Each block is formed by a node. And uh, there are transactions. So a node gathers transactions. Validate them. Validate for what? To see if there is any double spending problems. And then to see if uh, person A has uh, enough amount of uh, money in his uh, account, right? That's uh, validation. And then if there is no double spending problem, the, the validator put these uh, transactions into the block, timestamp it, put the proof of work, and publishes. So that's what miner does. And then uh, my, since miner is doing this work, they are going to get reward, right? Block reward, which I have talked. And then currently it is 6.25 because it has helped again. Thus they are called miners. So miners are basically mining bitcoins. So there are miners who mine gold, right? In order to mine gold, people have to dig deeper and deeper into the earth, right? Because it is getting rarer and rarer and rarer because all the gold has been mined already, right? So in order to mine further, they have to dig deeper into the earth, right? So there is a technology involved, right? The, as the technology uh, you know, develops, people can uh, you know, dig deeper and then get the gold out of the ground. It's the same, same mechanism, right? So uh, Bitcoin network, the hash power has been grown and grown and grown, right? More miners are making more investment and, uh, and so on because of this uh, appreciating 
uh, Bitcoin uh, value. Okay, and uh, 